to begin this card, we're going to go ahead and do our stamping. So I've got a piece of Whisper White that's going to be four and a quarter inches by two and a quarter inches. And I'm going to stamp using the Christmas Greeting from the Grateful Greeting stamp set. This is in real red ink. And I'm going to stamp this to the left hand side. Then I'm going to take the stocking, and this is the polka dot stocking from the Stitch Stocking stamp set. Get that good and inked up. And I'm going to stamp this onto a scratch piece of Whisper White. So it's a bold image stamp. I'm going to hold it in place for a second or two. And that's how we'll get that nice crisp image. So I'm going to take the stocking builder punch. So I'm going to line up my stocking and punch it out. And so then I've got the stamped elements of my card done. So let me go ahead and close this up. The next thing that you're going to want to grab is the dotted scallop ribbon punch. And I've got a piece of real red cardstock that's going to be four and a quarter inches by about half an inch. Great time to use up any scraps if you've got them. So I'm just going to center this on the punch. And then punch to the left. And punch to the right. Make sure I got it all. Fantastic. And then this is all just trash. So I'm going to scoot this over to the side. So the base for our card is going to start at four and a quarter by eleven in real red. I've scored it at five and a half. Fold that over, grab my adhesive. So I'm just going to open up my snail and put adhesive on the back of this whisper white. It's going to go all the way to the top of our card. And then I'm going to grab liquid glue. This is my favorite adhesive for this particular punch. Just because if you use snail, you'll see the adhesive or other things will stick to it. So if you just run a thin bead of glue down the center, and then pop it onto your card. So I've got it half on the white, half on the red. And then we're going to go ahead and put our stocking on. So I'm going to use two dimensionals. Peel off these backings. And then we're going to just put this on the front of our card. Alright, now we're going to add a jingle bell. So let me put the lid on my glue. And I'm going to show you all a total cheating way to get your baker's twine onto your bell. Because I don't like to thread needles. So I'm a huge fan of needle threaders. But I also like these. These are floss threaders. They're, um, they're flossing guides for designed for people with braces, things like that. So I'm going to take my baker's twine, open it up, and I'm just going to put my white baker's twine through the loop of that. Grab a jingle bell, thread this through. Whoops. There we go. Thread it through the loop on the top of my jingle bell and pull. Look how easy that was. Total cheat. Okay, then I'm going to take this, tie it in a knot, and then tie a bow. And then after our bow is done, we can make it whatever size we want. So I'm going to make it kind of a small bow. Okay, then just grab your scissors, give it a trim, and then you can hear a jingle. I love the sound of these little jingle bells. Grab your mini glue dots. Now I'm going to put the glue dot onto the baker's twine and not onto the bell. The reason being, if you put it onto your bell, then it won't ring a ling ting for you. Okay, so I'm just going to then put this at the top of my stocking. Then I have my cute and easy little Christmas card with my jingle bell. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make this quick and easy card and enjoyed the little cheat on how to thread your baker's twine onto your jingle bell. To learn more about rubber stamping for card making and scrapbooking, visit www.iteachstamping.com. And remember, I don't just sell rubber stamps, I teach you how to use them. Have a great day.